Hi, it's Sun from the Math Easy Solution. Time to discuss so it's a quick tutorial on GIMP. Uh, basically, how to edit multiple layers in GIMP, Photoshop. I'm using, I think, uh, GIMP 2.8, but it should work for uh, basically any other GIMP Photoshop program. So basically, what I mean by this edit multiple layers. Let's uh, right here. I have uh, four layers. This is the, just the background. This is the uh, edit. With, uh, with multiple layers, you could put it at the bottom. So now it's overrided by the top layer. So it's basically all the layers I have. I have three of black, a red, and a yellow one. You could hide them, etc. And then there's nothing in the background. So what I want to do right now is basically, let's say we wanted to compress each each layer or, or something like that, like that. You could either just go single-handedly. You could just go like one by one like this. So this one is scaling it down. So when, if you do this, this would be a new folder. Let's just go uh, anchor down. So now, as you can see here, I, I made this one smaller, but that's the only one. And then you would have to do it separately. Uh, like yeah, if you were to do that, you would have to do it separately for every single layer. But let, let's say we want to do it other way. I'm just gonna undo this. So if you want to do these all at the same time, you could just click this button right here. There's an actual button. There's like a link option or a link button here. It's with a little chain there. So you could click on all of these. Now you could. There's a lot of these that you could just straight up edit with it. You could either use the rotate. You could do the one, the same thing, where I just scale down. So let's say I scale down. Maybe the photo was really big. You want to upload it. I don't know to Twitter or something, and you can't go above. I think four megabytes. You want to make it smaller. And then just a bunch of layers you had. Basically, you could just put these all down like this when you're editing. So there's uh, again, we could just anchor it down or make a new layer. So as you can see now, all every single one is compressed. And you can go just click image fit canvas to layers. Actually, no, that was the wrong uh, section here. You can just click this little cutting tool and you can just cut it here so it makes the layers because the layer still considers this alpha channel on the top here. So we just click that and basically you have I've compressed every single layer at once. So I'll just go undo this. And now let's now you could also do rotate, etc. So I have it all linked. So you could you could do the it's just separately. You don't have to do all of them. You can do it whichever ones you want. So right now it's rotating all of these, and then this, the top one. Everything else is automatically anchored. This one is is not. So you just anchor layer, and you could also just do a bunch of other stuff. You could do uh, what is this one? Shift. Let's go. I think this is shear tool. So shear it like that. So this should work for all of them. Click shear. So this one's a bit slower. So as you can see, the first one was done. Second, third, I don't think it's one more. Yeah. So uh, yeah, everything is sheared. Every single one of these, and you could hide. There's the bread, etc. So you could play around with these. I think a couple more of these uh, options can uh, can be used in this multiple layer uh, stuff right here. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Actually, I just wanted to uh, go over this quickly because uh, because uh, once I learned, it saved a lot of time instead of doing one by one. Especially if you're doing a lot of Photoshop and with GIMP, it's pretty sweet. So make sure you also watch my other GIMP tutorials. I'm gonna click undo on these. Yeah, actually, for some reason I can't undo all the way back. I don't know what I did, but it, it doesn't matter. Anyways, it's all for today. You can actually download this exact uh, GIMP file in the Dropbox link below if you want to just. This, uh, deep, play around with these layers I've already made. Well, anyways, that's all for today, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.